Welcome to Droblem Solvers, where we draw all the answers. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. And today, we have a special uh, question, Droblem, query. So special. Every, so special. Every question's special. Every day is a dream, every child is a diamond, and this is no exception. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah. Today's question comes from Mr. Jargonite. Mm -hmm. I guess we can assume that's a that's a, a cisgendered male. I mm -hmm. I think that's safe. Unless it's a, a, uh, a female well, I, that identifies I, I, as a... I don't know the gender of Jargonite specifically. Oh, true. Well, anyway, it's a mister. Yeah. So, um... Writes? Yeah. My coworkers make fun of me constantly. <laughs> How can I make them take me seriously? <laughs> I need your help, all-powerful internet drawing show gods. Well, so you know... It, and, and flattery will get you everywhere. We've yeah. said it before, and... Uh, <laughs> you bowed to us, and uh, we have answered your prayers. Oh, that's an old-timey computer. Well, he works at an office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I love the idea of like people at, at work just making fun of you constantly. Constantly. Like, just like, it's like, guys, get back to work. Oh, it's like, oh, we're poor coffee, Mr. Jargonite. Hey, check out this coffee pourer over here, guys. Oh, what are you doing? In a cup? Jesus Christ. Get a load of this. Here, here's the thing we didn't mm -hmm. consider. What's that? What if it's their job to make fun of them? Oh, it's like a comedy factory type it's deal. It's like it's like he that's their job is mm -hmm. to constantly <laughs> like they're just putting in the hours. Yeah. Once they're off the clock, you yeah. know, they they'll go out and grab a grab a brew with you. Uh -huh. And then it's like all friendly. Do you think it's like a um, a Monsters Inc type deal where where they get the power, power from, is from the sadness? derived from making yeah from him being sad <laughs> from Mr. Jargonite's mm -hmm. sorrow. Uh huh. This is oh. Mr. Jargonite. Oh, Mr. Jargonite. He's got a very tiny mustache. Oh. Oh no! Mm -hmm. This is like oh. Well, I'm right just, off the bat, uh -huh. I could I can say that mm -hmm. either go either go huge mic. mustache or no yeah. mustache. Don't yeah. go don't go halfway in between. So while I'm while I'm drawing him, uh, typing fearfully at his computer at his old timey computer. Well, a constant barrage of, uh -huh. of fun making. Yeah, is is being. Uh, thrown. Oh, he got, got a silly little hat too. First of all, don't wear a silly little don't hat. Don't wear a silly little hat. That's gonna get you in big trouble. Don't be, don't be mm -hmm. so lanky. Uh huh. <laughs> Look at how lanky he is. He's so sad. Oh, Mr. Jargonite, don't let them see you cry. <laughs> that's a great. Hey, that's a droppy tip uh, that'll last the ages. Cry as much as you want, but don't mm -hmm. let them see you. Uh, that Dr. gives tip them power. Number two thousand. Don't let them see you cry. Don't let them see you cry. <laughs> is that a Phil Collins song? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Everything is a Phil Collins song, whether you knew it or not. Every day is a Phil Collins song. <laughs> Every child is a Phil Collins song. Good morning, Robbie. That's what, that's what my um. That's what the embroidered uh. Fra I have a framed embroidery that says that. W was was Phil Collins? Uh huh. I always get him and Michael Bolton confused. That's fair. Uh, what? Which, which one? Which one did all the songs in Tarzan? That's Phil Collins. Okay. Michael Bolton also did them. Uh, he also did Whoa. a lot of song. Uh, he did an entire Tarzan album, who, but it was rejected. Which is the mm -hmm. one who mm -hmm. made the song that was like? Mm -hmm. I remember. Mm -hmm. Keep going. This is great. Hurry, hurry. Do, 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 oh yeah, that's do, Phil do, Collins. Do, do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, Michael Bolton also did that song, but it wasn't as good. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have a very similar career. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, that's uh, every every day mm -hmm. is a Phil Collins. Now I'm just now I'm just thinking about Tarzan. I'm sorry. The movie. I got you off track. Uh, so that's you. That's, so there you are at the desk. That's a mm -hmm. you know. I think that's pretty. That's artist rendering, but I think that's pretty accurate. That's pretty good. And yeah. then here's some. Here, just some, here's some, uh, some rube. A whole horde of chuckle fucks just <laughs> raining down some, some laugh thunder some on your ass. Mm. Oh, look at their big dumb face. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Where you wear a hat? Why are you wearing a hat for? Uh, You're inside. Here's it's... your fucking boss. <laughs> oh, here he is. I can only imagine his name is uh, Boss Jargonite. <laughs> oh, is that everyone? You think it's a ranking system? Is a Jargonite. You're uh -huh. the lowest ranking at Mister. Oh yeah. And it goes, so it's like uh, this is like Lieutenant. Yeah. L lieutenant. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy's like the Dilbert boss. <laughs> Actually, Dilbert, you work in fucking Dilbert's office place, and even he's making fun of you. He doesn't oh, have a no. mouth, but he's still making fun of you. Oh, look at him. Mm -hmm. he's, he's got. He's like pointing. He's like, that's a point. Oh, that is a that is a sharp ang angled point. He's like, I'll right bet. There. Yeah, he's like, I'll bet it hurts when you go to the bathroom. Well, hey, he's he's saying some real mean stuff about you. 
he how would he know <laughs> how would he know unless he was there he's just making assumptions that's what's happening he, here see people people can be cruel you know uh-huh. we talked about middle school people being yeah. cruel but it turns out people are cruel no matter how old you get well a lot of people just are perpetual middle schoolers and that's a very important lesson to learn about oh my god are <laughs> people you in, a, in the world are you in a middle school office oh do you think that maybe his co-workers are middle school is are your people are you the principal at a middle school because <laughs> that if, changes everything if you are then <laughs> there's no hope for you we, we have to assume the, you're, you that that's not the case you shouldn't refer to the students as your co-workers uh-huh. in that in that case that'd that, be weird but fun to do it'd be a fun little goof for the other teachers i think <laughs> That's and they probably make fun of you for that. <laughs> <laughs> they get so they're just like these drawings are always so janky. I love it. Yeah, because we're we're actually trying to give advice <laughs> and right. and make jokes. So this is the setup. Uh, is Nate, the setup. do you wanna do you wanna resolve it? I think I have some an idea, but I think I want I'm gonna let you present it to the, the audience. Do you wanna okay. hop in here? Okay. So do it. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. We're just gonna copy this image. Oh, and, I should have done that. And start and start making some adjustments. So, um, this guy goes home. He's like, oh, how was your day, honey? He's like, ah, oh, Miss Jargonite, Dilp was on my case all day. So here we gotta we gotta give you Dilbert, Dogbert, all, the whole the whole Bert crew was just railing on my on my whole steez. First tip, mm-hmm. up up your stash up game. Up the stash game. Okay. Make it. Do so you think that this is like make it cover your entire mouth? I would say so that they can't see what oh. facial expression you're making. Maybe wear sunglasses too, so they can't yeah, see if you're crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Here we go. And maybe they'll. You're, accidentally... They're already starting to take you more seriously. So what? What this is, and what I think that this is, um, this is one in a number of series of uh, business power moves that you can use oh. to uh, keep people from making fun of you at work. Also, really, really up, up your up your hat game. Up your hat game. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe go like S- sombrero. So full sombrero. Okay, sombrero. Because they'll be like, oh wow, this guy is. This guy just came from somewhere else and was having more fun. They want he wants to be taken more seriously, right? right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So some, or you know what? Mm-hmm. Where um, where where the where the the head of a, a beast you've slain? Oh, cool, as a cool. Hat. So yeah, this is um. I saw a dude uh, walking down the street with that. The but other but day. still but still a wide brim. Yeah, because you don't want to scrub. And the thing brim. is, like, you can just like go to like an American Apparel. Or like an Urban Outfitters, and like get a pre-slain beast helmet, but you, and it's just not the same. And like people, people know. can tell. Yeah, people can tell. People can, can tell. tell. Go out, find a unicorn, mm. slay it. Because I'll be like, I'll see that, and I'll be like, dude, that's not a fresh kill. Like you didn't cover yourself in the blood of that beast to, you know, to show your dominance. And they'll be like, you're right. I'm sorry. Let me. And then they'll. <laughs> They'll give me that beast as a sign of their do- of my dominance over yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's that. Mm-hmm. Then uh, that's pretty good for, for the for the the outfit. Yeah. Want to do pull pull some business power move. Yeah. So here we go. You got you got your uh, your your striped suit. Okay. Pinstripes. Mm-hmm. Go full pinstripes. Pinstripes is win stripes, as they say. Just ask any of the Brooks brothers. And then what you want to do is is uh uh-huh. wear also a striped tie right you gotta like you gotta gank that dilbert style you know what i'm saying go full go full power clash right because like you know how how dilbert's got that tie that's just going every which way you gotta you gotta get on that tip you gotta get on that on that full clashing dilb tie clip and that's gonna that's gonna carry you through also i imagine mm-hmm. you're watching this at your office yeah don't don't do that don't do that this might be your biggest problem is that you're watching uh, dumb internet videos at work. Oh, um, save that for later, save bud. Save that for later. What you're going to want to do is open up a cool spreadsheet. Yeah, get, get and some... And that's going to really impress people. Let's get some, some Excel. And even if you don't use uh, Excel at work, Excel. even if you don't have to use spreadsheets, just open one up and then in every cell type the words work, 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 and then a bunch of numbers corresponding to each one. So it'll be like work, 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 2%. 12% and people will be like, wow, man. Oh, wow, well, Mr. Have Mr. some have some graphs. Mr. Jargonite is really getting it today. Have some graphs up mm-hmm. on the wall. Just some like mm-hmm. productivity. I, I hate to say it, Dilb, but you're fired, my man. Mr. Jargonite's taking your spot. He's got that great tie. He has the beast that he slayed how, on his head. Look how impressed everyone is. And now they're impressed. Well, they're still laughing, but they're like, wow. They're, they're laughing like, with joy. Oh, they're actually impressed now. I see. They're just, he's just like, uh-huh. And uh, oh, also, uh, yeah. your your boss, 
Yeah. You're going to want to slay him, too. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, that's his head just on a pike, yep. Game of Thrones style? Yeah. yeah. As, as an example to the others? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta play. You gotta play prison rules. <laughs> you got to play prison say, rules. What do you? What do you? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, That's one of those word teasers you say before you go on stage for an improv match. Mm-hmm. Those improv yeah. matches that we got to play by perfect prison rules. And uh, perfect prison prism. There you go. Oh yeah. Now they're like, damn. And I you're should, just. I should not have messed with Mr. Jargonite. Yeah. Keep keep some swords on the wall mm-hmm. as yeah. well. Mount your swords. You know, we're not advocating violence, but no. like it's it's if it comes it's, it's that, office violence is different. I that's think. true. That's that's called capitalism. Like don't don't go in there and shoot up the place. But no, like no, no. S- prison rules, sign- single out the uh, the most powerful opponent. Oh yeah, this is like meditated. Make an, you're gonna make you're, an example. You're gonna them. challenge your your boss to a duel. Yeah, you. Mm-hmm. This is after you've already won the duel. Right. Um. You know, if you can't if you, if you can't win a duel, mm-hmm. then you're gonna you know, wanna, there's no help in you. Make sure you check with HR first, though. Oh like, gosh! Yeah, lots of places have a very distinct dueling rules. You're gonna um, want to make sure you're not in violation of any of those yeah, rules. Yeah, uh, it was really embarrassing. I challenged uh, one of our bosses to a duel. <laughs> I remember that day. Uh, it was so bad, and, and he was like, "Oh yeah, but like, what? You, no, we don't use long swords here." Yeah, Cold Caldwell. Well. Caldwell is standing there mm-hmm. in full in full, full armor, battle regalia. Regalia. Mm-hmm. He he's got a squire there with him, and I didn't realize that we only grapple. Yeah, we only do grappling here. Our boss, so embarrassing. boss is all greased up, ready to go Greco-Roman, <laughs> and Caldwell standing there like a chump oh, with so his greasy. battle regalia. I'm standing there in front of my greasy boss, looking like a total dingus. That was a that was a fun week. That uh-huh. everyone was just everyone was making hey, fun of me. Hey, Swordman. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Swordwell. Hey. Swordwell. Swordwell. Splant Blanner. That's what they said. Yeah, and we're not. Like, that great. doesn't make sense, but they kept laughing. Um. Okay. So you, yeah. You, I think we covered it. Yeah. I like that. I like that the boss was still laughing when he died. I mean, this boss is fun loving. Uh huh. So I think we've offered some good tips. Business power moves are going to be um your best friend in an office place. Show up late or, to a, a meeting. Or just don't just quit. Give a firm handshake. Get another job. That's the ultimate business power move. It's just to not work there anymore. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. But if that fails, yeah, murder your boss. And uh. You know, just give him a, give him the old, oh, ooh, the old, the old, the, <laughs> the old Johnny one thumb, as the, it's called. The old Johnny one middle thumb. Mm-hmm. That's not, that's not even a thumb. <laughs> yes. Uh, the gentleman's tower. The gentleman's tower. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's called. The old Johnny one thumb. The gentleman's tower. This is a uh, terrible drawing yep. of a hand. Mm-hmm. Um... The, well, well, I struggle to draw this hand. The, yeah, the cockatrice. Hello. We we have an exciting announcement. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. So why don't we make that announcement? Mm-hmm. Uh, this 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 episode. We'll probably mention it again in a future episode as, as the day draws closer. But get ready to be announced. We are going to be at uh, New York Comic Con, doing a show. Doing on Friday. A show not unlike this show. Yes, a live draw fee with special guests. And, um, Should be determined special guests. They're coming. Trust me on that. We'll have at least one special guest. Mm-hmm. And it's going to Maybe be... Maybe some less special guests. On Friday night at 8.15, October 10th, at New York Comic Con. If you're, Get your ticks now. If you're coming to New York Comic Con, uh-huh. guess what? You can also see us. You can see us. Maybe we'll draw a suggestion you said. Maybe not. Uh, it'll still be fun. We're going to do this live... And it's going to be in front of a room full of people, and that's going to make us feel really good about ourselves. And I think that's really what is most important here. We're going to feel real good. <laughs> good. I'm already frail in it. I think, right. uh, I think, I think we, we did we've it. Solved, uh, we've solved. Someone said we should write drolved. Yeah. But we're on. not droblem drolvers. We're droblem solvers. I think you can do whatever you want, man. <laughs> All right, I'm going to write drolved. That's a power move if I've ever saw one. But I'm going to spell it like that. <laughs> Drolled. <laughs> like that ancient race. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't listen to us. We're very sorry. Jargon.